I'm sitting in the shade because it's a little bright out. I am currently up at Mount Hood in Oregon and I just got to this campsite last night and it is amazing. It's got a beautiful view of the mountain. It's just me and all these trees and so many birds and I even had a, a deer come by last night at like 11 p.m. It kind of startled me. I don't know, my first thought was like, oh, it's a bear. But yeah, just hanging out here and feeling really good. I, uh, I spent the last week with friends. I'm really not planning on doing anything today. It'll be pretty boring. No adventures today, just a appreciation of a quiet campsite. And maybe I'll just start with the story of this last week for me and what I've been doing. It'll certainly be a little more interesting than what I'm doing today. <laughs> this weather is so perfect. It is just the perfect summer day. So after my last video, I went to meet up with my good friends Mason and Amanda and Mason's dog Huxley uh, to go camping on the coast. Uh, I'd say as far as camping trips go, this one was probably a 10 out of 10. <laughs> so yeah. Mason, Amanda, and Huxley are just the best. Humans slash dog. <laughs> They're always so fun to hang out with and I'm always really grateful for the time that we have. This night we made some mushroom tacos and Mason made a spatula. <laughs> and the sunset was just so beautiful. We took turns running to the beach while cooking dinner, so we could watch it. Inviting me on your camp date. But yeah, it was just really good times, and I'm really glad that I got to meet up with them. So after the beach, I wound up driving to Portland with Mason uh, to work on the camper. Mason helped me out with the solar setup. It was pretty underpowered for my needs, and 
and so he wired it into my bigger battery and yeah mason is always super helpful and i'm really thankful for his skills you want to be on youtube they're gonna love you yeah And we also wound up putting another solar panel on the roof and moving the other one back a little bit. It was a little stressful drilling holes in the top of the camper, but got to do what you got to do. Dude, it's a double rainbow. Okay, it's the uh, summer solstice today, and I'm very happy about that. Uh, I always look forward to summer. It just kind of marks the start of like real backpacking season and hiking season and alpine lakes and hanging out with friends. So yeah, feeling super good today. Uh, I'm actually driving into the Mount Hood area at the moment to go meet up with some friends to go hiking and also probably do some car camping up there as well, so yeah. Oh, howdy! It's a nice squirrel you got on that camera. So when I was in Portland, I also picked up this weird musical gizmo called an Omnichord, and yeah, having fun messing around. It also comes with these really cheesy drum tracks, so had to take advantage. What? And like, on the way there... I love dogs. Like, there's a few times that I can think of where my hands were that cold. So the only other time I've done this hike was in the dead of winter and it was so cold, it was below zero at the summit and we were running on like three hours of sleep so yeah, let's just say it was much nicer this time around. I hiked up here with my friends Nate and Elliot. I have been on a ridiculous amount of adventures with these guys. I think we started hiking together probably six years ago and yeah I have had some of the craziest moments of my life uh, with these two. So we spent the most of the next day just hanging out at a lake and staring at little salamanders in the water. We didn't do much. Also kept wishing that I had a boat. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. And for sunset we wound up going up to this mountain lodge and playing uh, ping pong for two hours uh, with some friends and yeah it was pretty fun.
And this is Kyler. He's the kind of guy that can have fun no matter what. <laughs> And now we're caught up, and here I am, shaking out my duvet in the woods. <laughs> Howdy. Hey, hey. How's it going? Dude, I follow you on YouTube. Oh, no way. What's up? Found our, uh, our precious spot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good spot, man. Dude, these, uh... So this hole is where the uh, where the old power inverter fuse box used to be. So I had Mason cut me out a piece of wood and tried my best to match the hardware. Looks pretty good. So if you watched my last video, you might remember I mentioned that my friend um, was making uh, cool stuff with a sewing machine. Uh, he makes like backpacking bags and fanny packs and a bunch of other cool bags. Well, I, when I went to see him uh, to work on the solar, he surprised me with this wrench roll, which is so cool. Honestly, I love it so much. It's one of my favorite colors and um, just the fact that one of my really good friends made it gives it a lot of special meaning to me. So thank you, Mason. I love this thing. He also got me this awesome toolbox.
that song's not finished yet, but um, there's a rough draft. <laughs> One of the thoughts that I have so often out here is that if everyone on earth could experience a week in a spot like this with no distractions, then the world would simply be a better place. I think that out here in nature, you get so much valuable perspective what matters and what doesn't. Yeah, I'm really grateful for the amount of time that I get to spend in these beautiful, beautiful places. And I'm really grateful for the perspective it's given me. His old stuff when he was just like banging on a suitcase drum. Yes. It's like so sick. I mean, first song I listened to that got me into was Late July. I saw the yeah. YouTube clip. Of, oh, yeah, dude. Of him, him banging on the suitcase. And that clip is good. About his name being Shaky Graves. Yep. I'm like, I love this guy. Mm -hmm. 